Warren. Good morning. Many of you know me. For those of you who don't, my name is Loy Ashton. I'm a permanent deacon in the Mississippi Conference. I've been here since 2003. Um, I'm appointed to Tougaloo College. I'm a professor of religious studies, philosophy, and theology. I also direct the Center for International Studies. I have been very privileged to have had the honor to work with uh, Hatice and Fatih here on the stage. I consider them to be my sister and brother, even though they come from a different faith tradition, because the work that they have been doing is so important to the work that we as United Methodists do on behalf of every person that we do ministry with in this planet. This particular project had its genesis last fall when a group of folks from around the state of Mississippi, an interfaith group, and I was one of three of the key drafters, and the drafting committee uh, was made up of Jewish, Christian, and Muslim writers, began to work on a project, a statement, that would publicly denounce any type of violence that's done in the name of religious faith, and then affirm the kinds of rights and protections that we as members of a democratic nation would want members of all faiths to be able to enjoy. This project went statewide. We worked with faith communities of all stripes, um, and especially ecumenically within the Christian tradition, Lutheran, Catholic, Baptist, Evangelical. We talked to a number of university presidents, Mississippi State, Southern, Millsaps, Tougaloo College, um, Mississippi Valley. And we have widespread support for this document. It was unveiled for the first time on March 29th at the annual interfaith banquet um, that was uh, actually held here at the convention center. We've had, and we're very grateful to Bishop Swanson for his strong support for this project. I'd like to point out that to our knowledge, this is the first time that we know of that any interfaith project in any of the 50 states that has tried to incorporate all of the communities within their state, both religious and non-religious, to make a public statement against violence done in the name of religious faith has ever been created. And to that effect, the United Methodist Church and this 2016 session of the annual conference is the first time that this statement has now had an opportunity to go before an entire church body for review. So we're very proud to be able to present that to you. It is there in the conference addendum. And at this point, I would like to be able to introduce uh, two of the other uh, drafters and conveners in this project, uh, Mr. Fatih Uzjan and Ms. Hatice Gunel.